Carlton's Travel Adventures. Go get your passport. What's up, folks? This is Carlton with Carlton's Travel Adventures. I had a weird experience today. Well, it wasn't very. It's not. wasn't weird. It was a scary experience today. Almost, I got attacked by about seven dogs. Check the story out, man. It was crazy. Carlton with Carl, Carlton's Travel Adventure. So today I was coming home, went to uh, eat some food late in the afternoon. Somebody coming by about 7:30. So there's I live like real close to a dog park. So right before sundown, they, most people bring the dogs out. Man, you might sometimes you know, see 20, 20, 30 dogs out there running around. Sometimes they get crazy, go after each other, and all kind of stuff. You know, I hear them just going crazy. You probably heard it in my video sometimes, right? Yeah, I talk about it. No main issue, no big deal. But then I'm coming home. So it was full of dogs, you know. And I was passing, and this one dog, pretty guy, big size collie, I think, came up to me and started smelling me, right? I don't like when they do that, you know. So I kind of stopped, looked at him. Like, you know, like, back off, man. I don't this. Don't sniff me. You know, you're going to bite me or something, you know, too close. Then he just didn't like me telling him to stop it. He turns around, he starts looking at me. I start growling, man. Like, arr, arr. I was like, what the fuck? So I just stopped. I didn't want to run or anything. Just stop. Look at him. And now two other dogs came over. These totally white, like, huskies, you know. They came over and joined him. And I'm surrounded by three dogs. And they're looking at me and they start growling. You know, they're in a, in a, like a wild pack of dogs. Once, once, once they get going, they really kind of, you know, join in a pack, you know. And I hate the idea of just getting dogs all around me just growling. So I'm sitting there and people are, are watching me. Now all the owners are sitting here in a group watching me. And I'm telling them, get your damn dog, get your damn dogs off of me, you know. And then even the small dogs are coming around me. I'm, before I know it, I'm like seven dogs around me. And they're growling at me, barking at me, growling at me. Obviously, I'm scared as shit. I'm nervous, you know. I'm like, damn. You know what? I can't hit him or anything. Yeah, because you, you want him to go off and start biting me, right? But obviously, I'm concerned. I'm sitting here. So I'm, I'm, I'm telling the owners, start cursing them. Get the fucking dog off of me. Get the dog off of me. You know? You're sitting here just looking like, we, 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 what do you want us to do? It's your damn dogs, you know? So, I, you know, I started to panic a little bit, you know? If I had something, I would hit one of them dogs, man. And then this one guy, he's, he spoke English, one of them. So I kind of went by him because he had one dog too, but he was a real small dog. He was growling at me too. So I kind of went by him, kind of close to him. And he keeps telling me to calm down, calm down. I mean, calm the fuck down. The dog's trying to bite me. Calm down. And he can do nothing about it. Say, get your dogs. The law says you're supposed to have a muzzle on bigger dogs, right? The smaller dog, not. But I ain't worried about the smaller dogs. There are three big ones there, you know? So. He's telling me, this, this tranquila, calm down, calm down, calm down, they'll go away, calm down. So I'm, I'm right next to him, you know, for, for shelter, you know, figure the dog see me next to him, they'll, and I slowly, slowly, they started to back off, back off, back off, one by one. And I got pissed off at him, I said, wait, control your damn dog, man, people, people passing by here, you know. I guess they don't have to put him on a leash because the dog park, but it's not encircled, you know. People can walk by on, 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 the, on the walkway, with no problem, you know? So it's not like it's, it's circled in a gate. Some places in Miami, they have actually in a fenced area. That's the way it should be, right? So many dogs, are just, when dogs get riled, riled up, they all just join in a pack. So I was pissed, man. I came home, my heart was racing, just racing, racing. I was upset, heart racing. So I told my girl when she came over about half an hour later, what happened? She has a dog too. And she, I said, man, I showed, her, I showed her my blade, right? A nice blade I have, I told her, I'm bringing that blade next time I walk that past that park. You said, no, 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 you go to jail. You can't have that. You can't have that to go. Send you to jail or deport you if you have the blade on you. And you can't hurt the dogs. You can't hurt the dogs. I'm like, you can't hurt the dogs? Dog, I'm more right than I do? You said, no, no. I said, you said, let them bite you. Let them bite you. I mean, what? I said, what are we talking about? Let them bite you. So let them bite you. If they bite you, you make like a lot of money. It's not your fault, let them bite you. I'm going, I ain't let the dog bite me. I hit the hell out of the dog before they bite me. She said, no, you can't hit the dog. She said, how about my maze? Can I maze him? She said, no, you can't hurt the dog. I'm like, dog has more right than I do. What the fuck? You know, she said, no, you can't hurt the dogs. 
I know they said, well, if you hurt one of those dogs, especially if you kill them, those owners will have somebody shoot you. Right there, they said they will. <laughs> Love their dog so much. I said, so it's okay to bite me. They said, no, but let them, let them, let them bite you. You're supposed to have muzzle on the big dogs. They bite you, you make a lot of money. I said, what do you, what do you call a lot of money in Colombia? just said, wow, a lot of maybe 5 million pesos. I'm going, first I said, when I heard of 5 million, I'm thinking, uh, they just did the math real quickly. I said, it's less than 1,500 bucks, U.S. I'm not letting dog bite me for, for 1,500 bucks. <laughs> you know, you tell me, don't bring a knife, don't bring a stick, don't hit the dog, you get in trouble. Owners will, will actually shoot you or something like that. I guess somebody has to shoot you, hurt you, if they mess with their dogs. But it's okay if it messes with me, though. They bite me. I'm like, damn. place is messed up when it comes to these dogs, man. Dogs have more right than I do. You know? I don't know. I'm not going to pass that place at nighttime when they're out there again. Because I'm going to do something eventually. You know? I'll come and bring something with me. If the, I, I'll just take the consequences. I'm going to let them bite me for no reason. You know? Just let them wild like that. They could attack somebody. You know? They could attack, attack a kid. You know, and then later on, you can't even find them, they all take off. So I'm hurting somebody. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Those dogs should be on a leash, or it should be in fenced, enclosed, the area should be enclosed, on a gated, gated area, or it should have muzzle on the dogs, you know. But that was a scary experience. Because I've seen that shit on TV, people get attacked by dogs, and it's no fun, man. And people get uh, killed by dogs, a pack of dogs. So that is a tough experience. Wow. It's crazy. Many bike lanes they have here in Medellin. Take you anywhere you want to go on a bike. It's really cool, man. <laughs> 